All right, guys, so here in front of you, you see my Trek 4300 e-bike build I did with the Bafang BBS-02 kit. Uh, the battery you see is the, is the uh, 48-volt, 20 20-amp-hour shark battery. It barely fit inside that frame. Uh, but I've had a bunch of people ask me, you know, how fast does it go? Um, so here's a couple of the main points I've noticed so far. Uh, if you... You know these motors. If you're not familiar, they don't have torque sensors. They're complete, completely cadence sensors. So, you know they have no idea uh, how hard you're pedaling. They only know that you are pedaling. So they're going to kick in, kick in, and help you at a consistent wattage based on um, what power you have selected. And then they're going to stop when you stop pedaling or when you uh, do something else like pulling the brakes tr to trigger the cutoff. Um, I've noticed that with this in stock form, with uh, with with every with my setup, I, if I put it in the highest gear, um, I travel about uh, 17 to 18 miles an hour in um, power mode one eco. So you've got one through five eco, and you've got one through five sport. Um, the only difference I really notice with Eco and Sport is throttle sensitivity. So you throw it in Sport and the throttle kind of comes right on like a motorcycle. If you throw it in Eco, the throttle comes on really smooth. Um, uh, and I know it's easier on the motor to keep it in um, Eco, you know, let the throttle come on smooth. But man, it's, it's so weird when you come around a corner and, you know, maybe you need a little extra ump and you go to give it some throttle and, uh, it's delayed so your body starts to react to the throttle and it's not there and then by the time you start to relax boom it kicks in so i i've been keeping it in sport mode one a lot um if i'm really riding like aggressive trails and i want, might need to use the throttle a little bit uh, otherwise if i'm just out here on the street like this eco one um i don't guys i have no i, I have no idea what the uh how long the battery will last how many miles i can go because an eco one you know i always just ride it around ride it around and the battery indicator never goes off a hundred i mean it's just um, i think it's just sipping battery in eco mode one so um, but yeah in the highest gear i think i have an eight gear cassette on the back one two three four five six seven eight yeah so in the highest gear i'm traveling about um 17 to 18 miles an hour and in the lowest gear, I'm traveling about uh, 10 to 12 miles an hour. So, uh, you know, either one is, is plenty fast enough. Uh, and that's one of the biggest complaints about these BBS O2s and BBS HDs um, is that the first pedal assist mode is actually more assistance than a lot of people want. Um, now, the good thing is these can be programmed. Uh, I'm probably not going to get into any of that. Um, I'm just going to probably, uh, once I, you know, get really into this, I'm probably just going to get a better motor, a whole different system, something like that. But if you want to tweak it, you can get in and program these um, to bring that pedal assist down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so I'm really loving it, guys. It's a sweet bike. Um, I've said in some other videos, it's like a 2008, 2007 or 8 Trek 4300. Uh, been sitting around for 10 years in the garage and it's really sad every time i laid eyes on it it was very sad um but now i've given it new life it's got you know it's been ridden more in the last couple weeks than it has in the last decade so uh and it's still a pretty good looking bike the forks definitely need serviced check that out um luckily i'm a suspension tech so i can do that myself i haven't done really any bicycle forks but um, they can't be any more complicated than uh motorcycle forks i'm sure which i do a lot of those so um if i could go back and do it again or make one change to this bike probably the only thing i would wish is that it had uh, hydraulic disc brakes instead of these regular v brakes um, but it's really not a problem i thought it might be a problem adding all this weight with these brakes um not the case but i just wish it had hydraulic brakes because of the progressive feel these are really kind of kind of on off style brakes a little bit so uh yeah i know for the next one um yeah the uh had a lot of people also ask me if you need a uh, a gear shift 
cutoff sensor and I did install one because Johnny Nerdout said to go ahead and install one. Um, I'll tell you this, this works fantastic for commuting or riding out on the road or somewhere where you're not under a heavy load. Um, but it, it's not going to save your butt climbing up a mountain trying to shift to a lower gear or something like that. So I think your best bet on these kind of builds is don't shift at all. Um, when you're on the trails under load about to climb a mountain or something just don't do it uh, it's not worth your, if you could throw your chain you could break your chain you could cause other damage um, just you know if you're on the trails and you're doing the climb you only got eight gears to choose from on these things now you know if you're taking your front cassette off so just put it in your lowest gear and, and just cycle the crank and let the thing pull um, but for for out here on the flat that shift sensor works great it cuts you know it, it senses that cable moving and it cuts the power um, until you know cuts the power for a second until the cable goes back to its place so definitely absolutely digging it um, one more thing to be aware of uh, I did replace the the uh, front brake with the brake that came in the Bethane kit um, the reason I did that is because this one has the sensor in it so when you pull this in just a little bit it kills power it's kind of cool because it kind of acts like a clutch you can pull it in just a little bit not enough to grab any brake um, but enough to kill the power if you need to however you have to remember that if you're ever wanting to just hit the rear brake you have to at least pull this one in a little bit too or it's not going to cut any power uh, i couldn't swap this one out because the way this mechanism is made the shift mech is in with the brake um, so i have to find out some kind of way to rig that up if I want to do that it's got cobwebs in it from the trail yesterday um, before I go let's talk about range real quick like I said uh, this Bethane BBS 02 is 750 watts um, continuous I think it peaks at like 1400 watts maybe has 120 newton meters of torque but uh, I got this upgraded 20 amp hour shark battery and uh, like I said, I had to drill new holes. The water bottle holes didn't work because they were too low. So I drill and tap new holes and um, it barely has enough room to pop up and slide out of there. Uh, I like it. It's got a little USB out here, which I've never used. It's got a lock, which I've never used, but I've never had a problem with it wanting to come off. Um, Here's the thing, I went to the mountain bike trails and it wasn't super hilly, it was a rolly trail system down in North Carolina here. And uh, I rode like 20 miles and um, the first 10 miles I stayed in pretty much in the eco mode and I was still showing like 90%. And then the second 10 miles I switched into sport mode and was really cranking on it and uh, having a good time. And by the time I was done with the 20 miles, um, I was up around 65% uh, battery remaining on my display here. So uh, I have no idea how many miles um, you can expect out of this thing yet. I don't even know how long it'll be before I can actually do a real range test. And I think there's going to be so many variables depending on hills and, and what kind of riding you're doing. But I will definitely do some update videos uh, to let you guys know. All right, guys, that's enough for this video. Let me know if you got any questions, and I'll answer those um, in another one. Thanks so much.